Welcome back to Subclass Search, we'll be looking at the many subclasses of Dungeons and Dragons. We're looking at a very special homebrew today, this is actually the first homebrew I ever got. Picking up this subclass was a opportunity I cannot pass on. Let's look at the subclass that can turn your bard into the diva of the stage. It's the College of the Opera. Created by Hannah Rose and Kelly Butler, this subclass is available on DM's Guild and like I said, it was the first ever homebrew I got. If that's not enough, here's a clip of Kelly proving they are really a bard in real life. Please check out this subclass down below. College of the Opera Bards are bards that have risen above all others. All the bards are nothing but amateurs compared to them. These professionals have used their gravitas to excel where others have failed. Mere instruments cannot match the power of their vocals. They believe they are the shining stars. They dream that they will shine harder or they will fade forever. All that glitters may not have a heart of gold. Jealousy of others and a selfish attitude may lead you down a path of great evil. Will you become a supremus soprano of your dreams or use your skills to make sure your rivals don't see that opening night? Act 1 of the subclass begins, so please take your seats. Let's raise a curtain for our opening number at level 3. When you dedicate yourself to life on the stage, you learn 4 languages is your choice, you learn how to become proficient with your dazzling vocals and you can now use your voice as your spell casting focus. You also get piercing resonance. You get the spell shatter which is added to your bard spell list. You can now break as many glasses as you want and when you cast this at 4 for a higher level, when the target fails their saving throw, they're also stunned until your next go. Let's come back from that quick intermission to see what level 6 has to offer. Level 6 you unlock your aria. Your aria is a powerful magic that helps you read notes that you couldn't before. A free option for your aria which I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of. They are Aria Cantabelli. Your songs are resting now a full on song around the campfire so you can give temporary hit points to your allies. Aria de Brava. You can bloody flip off the Egypt that missed you so they feel bad about themselves. They should feel bad. They are awful. They let their goblin friends down. They let Clark down. But worst of all, they let themselves down. Aria Prolante. Who needs actual charisma when you've got finger guns, eh? It's time for our final lap where we see what 14th level gives you. Supporting cast, when the ally you knew you actually uses one of the bardic inspiration, you get an inspiration die as well until the end of your next turn. And finally, let's wrap up this subclass cadenza with Capture Soul. You make a performance check and if the target fails the charisma saving throw, you can steal their soul. You can go full Ursula and take the soul of a miserable, the lonely and depressed, pathetic target for 24 hours. This is an insane ability in a sense of a roleplay scenario. You now have vantage and charisma checks and the target cannot be resurrected without your permission. This could be something evil or could be used to save a friend from a risky situation. I absolutely love this. And with that crescendo, we've reached the end of our performance. Thank you all for watching, please go check out this subclass, I love this subclass so much and I really want to actually use it. Ah, but I don't play d and as much anymore and oh well, this character will be waiting in the wings until I do. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. And 